What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the show. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow that Twitter and Instagram right down below. Today, we're going to be talking about the one and only Eagles. The Eagles and the Giants just played a game. And I'm going to talk about this because I'm from Philadelphia and I'm a diehard Eagles fan. It's kind of hard to be an Eagles fan right now, but yeah, I'm a diehard Eagles fan. The Eagles um, are one, were 1-4 one and four with one tie with the Bengals. Let's not talk about that. Um, this is statistically, yes, it is the worst division. Okay, so, I mean, we're, we're number one in the division right now after beating the Giants, but that doesn't mean we're good. You know, I know only like 8 to 12 teams go to the playoffs, and I know that that's, you know, not that many teams, but... It's just I don't think the Eagles are at the caliber of playoffs just yet. I think with time, because there's 16, there's like I think there's 10 more games left. With time, the Eagles can get better. Maybe the coaching staff can learn how to use these new players. Deshaun Jackson, unfortunately, was injured tonight. But at the end of the day, the Eagles got something done. They pulled a win regardless of whether it was one point or 10 seconds left on the clock or whatever it was. We won the game. I just think that Doug Peterson's officiating is not good. You shouldn't have went for the first two-point conversion. It's okay to kick a field goal. Uh, you shouldn't have went for that fourth down. It's okay to kick a kick to kick a three-point um, um, field goal kick. That it's okay to do that, Doug. You missed four points, and you want to know what's crazy? You might look at me and say four points is no big deal, man. Not true. We were down 21 to 16. If we made those four points, it would have been 21 to 20, which means all we had to do was get a field goal kick and not a touchdown. Now, thankfully, we did get that touchdown, and I'm not saying that I'm not thankful for this win, but Doug Peterson's officiating, along with the fact that he didn't even throw the challenge flag on time. I almost punched my TV, but he didn't even throw the challenge flag on time. All of that put together is the most irritating thing i've ever it's just simple officiating it doesn't even need a genius to do that you can't throw a flag on time we're not asking you to make some trick plays or do this or do that but stop going for two-point conversions doug stop going for two-point conversions just throw a field goal or just kick a field goal just get one point why do you continue to go for do you do this every single game we missed two two-point conversions, which is four points. We missed four points. And we uh, went for it on fourth down and missed it. If we kick the field goal, that's three points. Three plus four is seven, Doug. It would have been a one-possession game had you not screwed everything up and continuously did these stupid plays, man. Very bad officiating from Doug. I have no idea what's going on, but he really needs to step his game up. I think the, the defense played well. I think the O-line played well. I think Carson played well. I, I think the, the team was actually looking pretty good tonight. I just think that Doug Peterson needs to learn how to officiate this game. He did not do well as a coach tonight at all. He underperformed big time. And actually, believe it or not, Carson Wentz and his passes were the only reason why this team actually won. Carson Wentz bailed Doug Peterson out. He did. Wentz bailed Doug Peterson out of a game. Because if, if they lost tonight to the, to the Giants... Uh, Doug Peterson would have been fired. There is no doubt. Once just saved him his job. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm happy that my Eagles are 2-4 and four right now. I think we can come back. Um, I'm not asking to be 12-4 uh, and four and win the next 10 games, but I am asking to at least um, have a uh, posit positive uh, win-to-loss ratio because uh, – <laughs> It's terrible right now, and the only reason why we're number one in our division and going to our playoffs is because the rest of the teams are so bad. Dude, the Giants are so bad. The The, the Cowboys are so bad this year. I feel, I feel really bad. The Washington football team is so bad. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.